Welcome back to part two of the engine fittings project. Now that the chassis is fully shaped and reinforced, it's time to mount the heart of this build, the mini engine. This step is where everything starts to feel real, because once the engine sits perfectly on the frame, the whole project begins to come alive. First thing I do here is prepare the engine brackets. These brackets have to match the engine's mounting points exactly, so I measure the spacing twice before cutting the metal. A tiny mistake here can cause vibration or misalignment later, so accuracy is everything. Next, I smooth out the edges and level the top of the chassis. This part matters a lot because the engine needs a completely flat and stable surface. If the mount isn't level, the power output won't transfer properly, and the entire structure could shake when the engine runs. Now watch this closely. I place the engine on the frame for the first time. I check the alignment from both sides, front and back, then lock the position using temporary clamps. This lets me see how the weight sits on the chassis and whether the angles line up with the drive shaft I'll add in the next part. Once the placement looks right, I mark the exact drill points on the mount. These holes need to fit the bolts perfectly, so I take my time, drill slow, and double-check the spacing. You can't rush this part. Good fitting always comes from patience. Now that the holes are ready, I insert the main bolts and tighten them one by one. You'll hear that solid click that tells you the engine is locking into place. And trust me, that sound hits every time. It's the moment you know the build is moving forward. Then I add support plates underneath to handle the vibration and stress when the engine fires up. These plates keep the frame steady and prevent the metal from bending long term. Strong support equals a longer life for the entire machine. After tightening everything, I give the engine a final shake test. If it doesn't move even a little, that means the fit is perfect. Right now you can see how clean and solid the mount looks. The engine sits exactly where it should. With the engine fully fitted, the project finally starts to feel complete. Next up, I'll be connecting the shaft system, adjusting the balance, and preparing the chassis for its first test run. This build is getting serious now, and trust me, the next part is going to be wild. Make sure to follow the series and stay tuned for part three of the engine fitting project.